This is the dissection for week three. Um, we're going to quickly review the muscles from last week and then we're going to look at deep muscles of the back, the abdomen, and the pectoral muscles. All right, so last week you dissected the trapezius muscle, so here we have our spinotrapezius. Once again, a chromiotrapezius. And then you have your levator scapulae ventralis, clavotrapezius. Again, take that levator scapulae, kind of draw a line, and you're looking at the clavodeltoid, the chromiodeltoid, right there's the spinodeltoid. So you cut your spino and a chromiotrapezius last week. You also lifted the latissimus dorsi. And we kind of pulled the arm down, and we also looked at the rhomboid. So that's rhomboidius major, rhomboidius minor, and then what we left intact is the rhomboidius capitis. This muscle right here is called the atlantoscapularis. Don't need to know it for this first year. Okay, new muscles. So in between this muscle and your levator scapulae, you have your supraspinatus. Move your acromio and your spino trapezius back over. And right there, that is your infraspinatus. Pull the arm a smidge. And we're looking at, again, that epitrochlearis for exam two. But when you pull on it, you can see there's this little guy. So that's infraspinatus. This is teres major. Teres major kind of comes up and points right at your rhomboidius major. Okay, now for the deep muscles, kind of tuck the elbow down. Again, you're looking at your serratus ventralis that you should be able to see, identify from this angle as well as from the anterior. But what you're going to do, there's going to be some fascia cut along that, and you're going to kind of separate out the serratus dorsalis. So there's our serratus dorsalis. Again, there's our latissimus. Underneath your serratus dorsalis, you see this kind of you know, bacony looking muscle. That's the white lines on it. That's your iliocostalis. And you want to take the fascia, kind of help separate out some of these other muscles. So first we have our splenius. Splenius is this triangular muscle. And then we have our spinalis dorsi. And everything in between your iliocostalis, spinalis dorsi, and splenius, right here, that's the longissimus dorsi, which we can subdivide into the longissimus thoracis, longissimus cervicis, and the longissimus capitis. So we have capitis, cervicis, thoracis. Now, in your manual, you also need to know the multifidus spinae. And I didn't really dissect it, but you can see it right here. This line right there runs right along the, scap the uh, spinal cord, the spinal column. Multifidus spinae runs right along there, hugging the vertebrae. Okay, now, working around to the anterior, you want to remove a lot of this fat and make just a small incision and take your blunt probe and under that incision with your probe pointing up, kind of separate your external oblique from your internal oblique and um, transversus abdominis. So I did that, made a little window where we can then open up. There's our external obliques, the fibers run kind of from the armpit, ribs area, down to this huge muscle right here, the rectus abdominis. You can see the border of it. It's kind of white. And so that's external oblique. Open it up, and then right here you can see there's a change in the directionality of the fibers. That's the internal oblique. And it connects to an aponeurosa right here. So that is all internal oblique. Right here the fibers change direction again, and they end right here. So this is actually the edge of the rectus. This muscle in this little window, that's the transversus abdominis. So we have external oblique, internal oblique, transversus abdominis, and right there we have our rectus abdominis. Moving on up to the pecs. Um, in cat, you have a Xiphi humoralis that runs up. Mink doesn't have that. Um, so this is all pec minor. And then the pec major runs right over the minor. So you can kind of lift it, and so there's pectoralis major, and you can separate that then from your, well, clavodeltoid. So clavodeltoid, pec major, pec minor, rectus abdominis, external oblique, oh, sorry, external oblique, 
internal oblique, transversus abdominis, dorsalis, iliocostalis, longissimus dorsi, which is subdivided into the um, thoracis, cervicus capitis, splenius capitis, spinalis dorsi, multifidus spinae, serratus ventralis, rhomboidus minor, rhomboidus major, only rhomboides capitis, supras, supraspinatus, chromiotrapezius, spinotrapezius, infraspinatus, epitrochlearis, teres major, and then what we're looking at right here is more of our serratus ventralis and coming up and around. That's our latissimus dorsi. Spinotrapezius, chromiotrapezius, labrascapulae, clavotrapezius, clavodeltoid, chromiodeltoid, spinodeltoid. That's it.